Creative briefs can be interesting sometimes when given from a client. They may not make sense or they may not help you in any direction of where to go for a logo design or brand identity. Sometimes we've got to create the brief ourselves for the client for them to then review. I'm going to create a creative brief today in front of you for a fictional company called BMO, which I love and I've used a few times in an app who is sponsoring this video today called Walling. As you can see here, Walling is a great tool to use, not only because it just looks visually appealing but it's great just to overview different projects with these different sections you can create all these different sections add videos different title areas and really just have a visual workspace where you can place different elements of a project like you can see with this coke overview template it's simple for your client to use as well, seeing how you can collaborate with them by just inviting someone by pressing this button, but also because it's very organized. You can go as deep as you want in this and you can be as simple as you like as well. There'll be no problems bringing in a client here and for them to look around and see what they need to see. So first off, go to the templates and you'll get this sort of loads of templates that you can use for walling that are already pre-made, but you can make your own. And we've got the creative brief one here. So I'm going to be creating a brief for the brand identity of BMO. And basically BMO is an app where you can instant message other people. So it's kind of like WhatsApp, but it's a fictional version. For those of you that don't want to use the template, just to show you how easy it is to create different bricks inside of the wall, I'm going to show you here how I would personally create the brand guidelines by just easily adding bricks in with images by dragging them in from my computer. Got a lot of placeholder text that we can use. And I'm just going to get rid of most of this because we don't need any of this stuff in here. The first thing you need to know about when creating a brief is the client. What are they looking for? What is the client about and the history of them? The reason why having client information is important is because you need to know who you're working for. So maybe ask the client the questions before the brief when you're creating it so you can easily have it in there. This way of creating your own brief, it allows allows the client to see if you understand it as well. So always give this back to the client and they can make collaborative mentions in here and edit anything that is incorrect. So with this project, we're creating a logo design that has to work within the app store. The logo needs to be fun. It needs to also be slightly professional and work within an app icon, which is huge for any sort of app based company when they're competing with their icon. So the icon needs to look good and be in line with with the logo and the whole brand. The colors need to be bold, showing diversity within the company, which is what a lot of companies are doing now. So with all this information, I'm just putting it down into the project part here because it's important to have this outlined. If you're doing this for your client, you're trying to make it as simple as possible for them to agree with what your scope of work is. You're being commissioned because you are a problem solver. A designer is not an artist. They solve problems through design. So we need to identify the problem of a re brand what is it the problem is with BMO is that there's a lot of competition they've got whatsapp they've got facebook messenger they've got iMessage why should someone start using BMO instead and through the design we need to start to think about those things how do we get people through what we can do as a logo designer or as a brand identity strategist what can we do? So the first and most obvious goal is to design a logo that is scalable into an app icon. The second sort of goal that we have is to create a brand identity that fits around the mission of the company. Now, when it comes to logo design, the strategy is pretty simple, which is to design a logo that works well for that company through looking at their competitors and seeing how you can stand out. Now, if you're doing this for a real client project, like what we normally do is we want to make sure that we're adding more information than usual in there. We want to make sure that the client understands the way that we're going to go around this. So for instance, the strategy that I've got for this project is to research the other companies, the competitors of BMO and work out what we can do better, where we can slot in to the competition. What are they missing? Now, the great thing about walling is that it gives you like a step-by-step -step. as you go down, you can just fill this out or ask a client to fill it out for you if you so desire. Now, the next part is brand guidelines and what we've got are loads of images of coke because this is sort of the placeholder you can add images 
anywhere within here. You can scale them, make them bigger, stretch them out, make them smaller, link them, add captions, anything. But for the brand guidelines, what we're doing here is we're really finding out what the company's about. Like what are the strengths of the company? Now, what are the key strengths of the brand? Well, they've got high-end encryption in there so that people feel safe. The app is also fun and intuitive to use. It's not like all the other ones. They want to make it so easy for you to message people. It's inviting for the young and elderly because it just works well for them. And it's got no nonsense within the app. That's the main strength of this brand or this product that they've got. Now, as logo designers, you may never have gotten into the real brand strategy. And what we're doing today is sort of skimming the surface of that, where we talk about brand strengths and tones. Now, the tone is sort of how you come across. What do you speak like? Are you authoritative? Are you easy are you caring are you fun are you wacky those are some strange words to use in sort of brand strategy but today bemo is all about being caring and having a leadership tone so i want people to know that bemo cares about privacy i want to make sure that the brand design and everything that people are talking about within the brand is from a place of leadership within this new encryption now over here we could easily add some images now i'm just copying and pasting some images in here and getting rid of the old ones just because i want to get the idea of messaging across the wall i'm doing is i'm going on to unsplash i can go into any sort of website and i'm using it as a sort of mood board right there. It's very easy just to put images in here. All I have to do is find an image that is appropriate, kind of like this, where it shows the bright colors and the friendly nature of everything around it. Copy the image, and I'm just gonna paste it right in here, move it to wherever I wanna go, because it's kind of like just a wall, and I can increase the size of it if I wanna, if I wanna put it down here stretch this out a little bit now we have this sort of mood board going on there now the next part is we want to talk about the target audience who are they what do they do and why are we targeting them the target audience are teenagers and seniors now you've probably never seen a text messaging platform that just targets these two which is why it makes it different and i'm only writing them as bullet points as it just makes more sense and you can add more and more into this for instance i can press this box down here and then i can go up here bring this there and we'll write some more information about what the teenager will be doing and why they're using the app and we can do the same again So right here, we've got our basic, a very basic brief. And what we can do is send this to the client and they can read over this and add anything that they like into it or they can edit it. Or you can even just create the title, ask some questions and the client can write it themselves. Now, this is a very basic brief because the brief can take a long time to write up especially when you're doing it for brand strategy but if you're new to graphic design or if you just need sort of like a roadmap of how to create a brief to show a client then walling is a great app for you to do this because not only can you do it yourself but you can send this whole wall to someone else like your client or someone you're working with to collaborate on for them to look at as well and for them to write on now the app that i've been using today is called walling they have kindly sponsored this video and i thought you know let's do a video about briefs seeing how you guys are always asking what the best way to create a brief is and there are many ways to do it but this is probably the most technologically superior way of doing it as you can see it's very easy to use but you can go really down to the nitty gritty of this it works really well you can make it as complicated as you like or as simple as you like now, if you like this video and you want to give this app a try it is completely free to use so use the link down below and if you do like it and you want to purchase the app to get more bricks and more space then if you use the code you get 20 percent off the annual paid option and the first 100 people to do that get it for 20 percent off if you're new here please consider pressing that red subscribe button thanks for watching and i'll see you in the new video Goodbye. Psh.